Yes, terbaik. Oke. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Hijau tak buka. Ado ah, listen to this ah, ada record ah. Ya. Okey. Ya, yeah, welcome. Okey, we go back ah. So I uh, right now is recorded, you can listen to it again ah. We will uh, use ah uh, I will distribute a Google form link in the WhatsApp, in the Google Classroom, in the Kalam on 11 a.m. or maybe earlier, two minutes, three minutes, yes, I can do that. You get that Google form, click the Google form link, fill out the, uh, fill in the, your details, huh? your details, I made it compulsory so that we will not miss your details. Okay, you tick all the consent, uh, the statement, the statement is very simple, you say, that I'm doing this individually uh, based on certain uh, university's law that I cannot plagiarize, that's all. Huh? So uh, this is not an open book test, okay? Try not to refer to any reference during that time, okay? We cannot, uh, we cannot really block the students from doing that, but please uh, be sincere on your own. Try to answer this without any assistance, okay? All right. Once you download Google Form, uh, Google Form, you put in the details. Then you can download the question. The question will be uploaded at Google Drive link in the form of PDF. You can download the question. Then you take some time to do it. Uh, you 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 on your own time for two hours. You read the question. You can do it. You can download the PDF. If you have a problem in terms of the Google Form link or Google Drive link of the test question, WhatsApp me as soon as possible. Uh, try to contact me as soon as possible. Failure to do so, it means that some uh, something happened but you, but you don't have the intention to tell me. Yeah? So if you have a problem, contact me as soon as possible, okay? Uh, All right. Failure to do so will not grant you any extra time. Huh? Again, uh, like I said, we as a lecturer also understand the, uh, the problem of some students. Okay. So I really advise you to go to the place with a stable internet connection. Huh? Before this, during PKP as well, I was in Kampung. I felt you. Huh? I even need to drive one kilometer outside to get a stable internet connection. But stable internet connection is needed only to download the PDF file on, of the test question, okay? Next, two hours is given, answer it on the blank paper. Blank, huh? write your name, ID, section, if possible, at all pages, huh? if possible, because, because, you know, because, maybe something, some error happens or no. Write the page number at the bottom, okay? Once you finish answer all of the blank paper, then by using a suggested app, cam scanner or other scanners that you can possibly have, right now is a very good technology that we have. Take the picture, convert it to PDF. Huh? Convert the files, combine it in the single PDF. If you don't know how to use it, learn start how to use it. Uh, learn how to use it right now. Uh, starting today, learn how to use it. Next, it, if you have a, a scanner at your house, uh, printer, also you can use. Convert it to PDF. Once you convert it in a single PDF, rename your PDF. Rename it and with your name, ID. Name, ID. That is how I can know that is yours. Your test question in PDF, that is yours. I know. Name ID. Eh? Important. Very important. The failure to do so will not give me an information which one is you. Eh? When finished, convert it into PDF. Upload it back at the Google form. Upload it back at the Google form. We already test the link of the Google form. It's okay. But still, 
still suppose you have a problem again contact me personally sir i cannot submit it how to do it i will tell you how if you fail to submit it by using google form please try first submit it using google form if not contact me okay all right done this is all about your test i suppose huh? now i open to question suppose you have a question i give you one minute you can own on your mic you can ask me question regarding the test first test test kita buka test ya okay i open for one minute please do so if you have a question regarding the online implementation if not i assume you understand it and should have no problem this saturday Oh, you see, it's nearly two. We waste the time. My mic got a problem. I have a question. We name the file with. We name the file with our, our what? You name the file with your name, and your ID. Also, uh, Venkat, Venkat Swaran Naidu, you rename the PDF file. You rename the PDF file with your name and ID. That's all. Name ID. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's enough. It's sufficient. The instruction is given also in the online test guideline that I post yesterday. Uh, uh, I think Miss Anis already typed it clearly. You can read it again. Eh? Don't worry. Uh, okay, any other question? I leave it open. Kong Jun Hao has left the meeting. Why left my meeting? <laughs> oh, maybe internet problem, huh? Sir, do we need to scan the paper within two hours duration of the test? Do it as fast as possible. Yes, the time allocated is two hours. But we will know when you submit. So if someone deliberately try to delay their submission, we will know. But for the timing, the instruction is try to uh, scan and submit it within two hours. Don't worry, we think about that. There's a reason why I say 11 until 1, two hours. If I say, oh, I will give certain time to, to submit, I will give certain time uh, to scan, then the time will be different. You will not remember the actual time. The actual time is 11 until 1 p.m. During that time, do everything that you need within two hours. I will not try to confuse my student. Oh, I will submit at this part. I give you some time at this part. Forget. And based on our testing, the time 11 until 1 p.m. is sufficient. We will design a question that is sufficient for most of my students. Okay? And yes, we will know when you submit it. Uh, okay? Any other question? Okay, ada lagi soalan? What chapter will be in the test? Okay, a common question I get. Can someone answer to me? How to know what the chapter? Oh, how you know? Yong Jian Li, how you know 1.1 until 2.7? I don't answer yet, but how you know? Not in Kalam, Atika. Uh, yeah, it's in Kalam, but I just post it yesterday and also in Kalam as well. It is in the subject planning uh, alert uh, in the subject planning uh, it's 1.1 until 2.7 you can ask what is i'm afraid i'm sending the wrong file in case of my calutness. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Kalutness lah, betul lah. In English also, I don't know why it's kalut lah. Okay. Uh, if you, what, what? Wrong file. How, how can you submit a wrong file? Try to practice lah. If you feel that it's hard for you, practice it today. I can even, you know, do a extra Google form for you to fill in if you want to. Huh? But don't kalut lah. Huh? Be patient. The thing is about time management, please. Huh? Once you download, you read it carefully. Two hours is sufficient. Huh? If not, we will know when the time of your series, guy. Try guna cam scanner tu dulu sebelum test. Nanti tak kalut. <laughs> Korang ni yang mana ya, Farhan? Nervous. Okay. Oh, all right. I proceed to the next thing. Ah, huh? uh, this one. Uh, do you have any other question, sir? Got how many questions in the test? If I tell you, what will you, what it can benefit you? Or you want to know? So, okay, fine. Four question. Four big question. Feeling more confident? No, right? Oh, just study, lock in me. Okay, I do test at Mama. Sekati kau lah. <laughs> kau nak Mama ke Medi ke? Why is the question, sir? Aku aku remove kau, Muhammad Farhan. Tanya soalan lagi. Why is the question? Tak boleh. Mana nak? Mana function block lah? Mana block? Block, block, mana? Block. Tak boleh. Uh, Ayah block lah. Okay. No ah, uh? No question? Sir, this test contribute for how many percent for the final? Okay. Uh, okay, it's in the subject planning and as well, but the, the portion, if I'm not mistaken, is 30%. 30. 20, yeah. Oh, thank you, Amir. Thank you. 20. Okay, 20 je. 20 je. Uh, 20% contribute to the final. Okay, any other question? Don't, don't deliberately try to to ask question yang senang ah kahau your hair panjang oh so got to close cam oh biarlah ya buka lah nak buka ai ai nak tengok panjang okay all clear ah all right then i will submit this video later in the whatsapp i hope the file is not that big okay yeah, because uh, most lecturer, my friends, uh, try to record their Zoom meeting. They are using your Zoom. We are not using Zoom because we know about the security concerns of the Zoom. So I'm afraid to do Zoom. When they try to upload the file, uh, the file is so huge. That's why I'm doing a YouTube video. Huh? Okay. Uh, Sir, so why are you using two cam in one section? Tak faham. Oh, two cam in one session because I want to present my uh, whiteboard at my laptop. I want to write it at my laptop. This camera is for uh, the camera and the handphone serves as a microphone and camera only. Sir, instead of using A4 paper, can we use test pad? Apa tu test pad? Why is test pad? Saiful, kertas kajang. Boleh, boleh. Kertas kajang pun A4 juga. Uh, ah, yeah. Boleh, boleh, boleh. Can, can. Uh, use test pad. Blank test pad ah. Blank ah. Blank test pad. Okay. If no, uh, it's 2 uh, p.m. I will have a meeting at 3 p.m. I op I close this topic. I will open the next topic. Okay, which is uh, the lecture. Okay, I know. I will not teach new things for you today. Of course, again, this online real time is not served as a teaching. It serves more as a discussion. Uh, so you can ask any question that you already try. I already advise you that you try your question first, uh, read the video lecture, or you can read PowerPoints, try to self-study first, then this serves as a clarification. Huh? Clarification to interactive uh, communication because uh, what sometimes whatsapp the explanation is not as clear as this 
and nothing beats face to face lecture that's the best so right now i try to present okay i show you what i will present is this thing eh? a window share okay i have a pen which i can use to to chanting chanting yeah i think boleh nampak right Okay, this is the application that I use for my video lecture. So I open for the question and I can write the solution to you directly. So I will give you some time to prepare the question. You should be prepared already, by the way. Some of you might ask why I do a video on relation for your information I'm not saying I'm only doing the chapter 2. I will do all chapters. Huh? Logic will be done by, by my colleague. But I will do a video lecture for all chapters. But I will prioritize relation first. Because if I'm not mistaken, the last time that I left you guys is that I stopped at function. That's why I start with relation. And more videos will come. And relation is being prioritized because you know that it will be, some of it will be in the test or no. Yeah, it's not in the test. Yeah, no, that's why. Uh. Okay, I try my best to do more videos. When I have free times, I do the videos. Uh, trust me. But right now we have many things to do the, the meeting and so on because everyone is start trying to adjust on the new sop so i go back i repeat please get ready with question i give you until 2 30 to answer your question okay so your video was great uh i, I don't think it's really that great honestly yeah i i, I try my best to do a, a, the best as my capacity uh appropriate question please <laughs> Yang tak ada kena mengena, uh, kurang kan? Question. Soalan, soalan. Uh, for your preparedness for the test. I give you this this opportunity. Yeah? If you give in the WhatsApp, I can answer at the appropriate time. Huh? You don't expect me to answer at the time that I rest. Huh? I'm very angry because I'm very tired. Then you post the question. I'm just... Yeah, by the way, we, we are working. You guys are not working. You guys focus. Okay, question. Sir, you, I really don't know how to calculate a big power. Okay. I will start with that one. How to calculate? Sir, sorry sir, I have class at 2. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. See you again. If you have question, ask in the WhatsApp, young gen. Okay. To those of you who have class, I'm sorry I take your time, you may leave. Uh, if I have question, you post in the WhatsApp group. Okay. How to calculate big power? 30, 30 power of 99. Why you ask this question? Use the calculator. Huh? 30 power 99. Ayah, wait. Huh? Ayah. That's all. 30 the power of 99 is math error. Math error. Because because calculator has limited 
memory. Okay. So, what exactly is the question that you want to solve, please? Maybe you need another approach to solve the question. So, uh, Farhan, why do you want to calculate 30 to the power of 99? Why is the question? Why is the actual question? Good afternoon, sir. This is Muhammad Habibalak. I, uh, my, uh, I just uh, I watched the video and it was I upload, but I worry about the attendance. Okay, someone asked me attendance. Are you okay? I I I don't think about that really. To those of you who of you who really knows me, yeah. Okay, next question, Farhan. Why you ask thirty to the power of ninety nine? What is the exact question? Determine whether these integers are prime. Question. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. A good question by Farhan. I think uh, we, we asked this question a few semesters back. Okay. The question from Farhan determine whether 50 to the power of 1001 is prime. So we go back to the definition of prime. Huh? Prime is integer with only two factors. Only itself and one. Okay? So, so lagi, hi. Okay. We start small, huh? You don't think 50 to the power of 1001. Just 50 to the power of two. Ah, this one can put in the calculator. Okay. 2,500, is it prime or composite? Okay, I close down this one, okay. 2,500, is it composite or prime? It's composite, why? Yes, it's composite. Why you do no do that? You know that. Because you know that 2,500, the factors, it can be one, it can be 2,500. Zero, zero. It can be 50. 50 pun adalah faktornya. And you have more factors inside. Blah, 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 blah. So the fact that 50 to the power of 1001 indicates that this number, although it's huge, suppose I put P, uh, A, uh, A, 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 integer A. A is equivalent to 50 times 50. So one of the factors is 50. So uh, then, then, and then, then 50 to the power of 1001 contains 50 as its factors. Definitely this A is composite. Okay, I hope that it should answer your question. Next question. Okay, I'm glad that you understand. I really do. Huh? Next question. Soalan mencabar sikit. Ni kacang. Honestly kacang. Don't try to try to understand the theory. If you understand the theory, every number also can answer. Okay, next. Soalan lain. Seriously, yang mencabar sikit. Soalan tadi pun mencabar. Cuma siapa uh, yang faham teori, uh, who understand the theory, then definitely can understand. Next. If no question, then I will stop the lecture. That's fine with me. 
next question we have only until 2 30. After this, try to answer your friend's question in the WhatsApp group. Huh? If you just wait for me, then it will be take a long time right now. So, other line, you can open the mic. If you don't want to type, uh, you can open the mic. So, other line. On the way. On the way, mana? Okay, I think uh, Ami Akasha ada soalan. Eh? Uh, sir, saya, yeah. cakap, saya cakap je lah. Nak type macam panjang. Uh, boleh, boleh. Cakap lah. Soalan? Uh, dia soalan yang daripada yang homework 4 yang akan uh, disimpan tak? Okay. Dia soalan dia yang uh, medium ni based on question 1. So okay. C darab dalam kurungan A mutually exclusive B. Sekejap saya ulang balik. C darab A mutually exclusive B. Betul? Betul. Maksudnya uh, okay. yang, yang ABC ni kalau A uh, let A uh, kali bracket 135 Let A kali bracket 135 uh, B kali bracket 369 369 Kalau C uh, kali bracket AB Saya Saya please anjap Tengok C, A, B. Ni ke? Macam ni ke? Uh, yes, sir. Soalan ni suruh cari C darab A mutually exclusive B. Betul lah? Mm, yeah. Okay. So, boleh tutup mic balik. Boleh buka bila perlu tanya balik. Okay. The Akasha asked me, uh, given that a is 135, B is equal to 369, C is uh, uh, alphabet, uh, A, B. Find C, Cartesian product A mutually exclusive B. For this kind of question, okay, you must, I test you the operation of the set. So, you must understand the Cartesian product, how to do Cartesian product and also how to do mutually exclusive. Okay, set product, uh, sorry, set operation. You still need to start with the thing in the bracket first. Ayah. The thing in the bracket first. So, A mutually exclusive B. Okay. A mutually exclusive B is what's in A and what's in B, but not both. The element that is uniquely exists to A and B, but not both. Someone can do this directly. It will be 1, 5, 6, 9. This is A mutually exclusive B. I also teach you in the slide and also in the class. A intersect B. Sometimes it can guide you. It will be 3. A mutually exclusive B, you just write everything 1, 3, 5. You write every element in A and also in B. The thing is that after you finish to do that, delete the thing that is common. So you will have the final answer, 1, 5, 6, 9. We don't finish the question yet. The question actually asks you what is C? Cartesian product. Apa dia C? C, A, B. 
darab dengan Cartesian product dia 1569 as it involve two set the answer will be ordered pairs you take a one a five a six a nine enough or not no because the way to know you have a complete ordered pairs is that cardinality of c two times the cardinality of a mutually exclusive b is four you should have Four more. You should have eight. Two times four. You should have eight or the pass. You have B1, B5, B6. And B9. That will be the solution. That's all. Next question. Ya, yeah, you're welcome. Next. Soalan ni bagus, eh. Saya tak kata, uh, I don't say that this is too easy. It has two things. So, yeah, it's medium. But still not that hard. This is a good question to test for some student. Next. So I like Sir, saya tak faham anti symmetric yang conditional. Okay. Can you give me a sample of question yang conditional? Oh, yang macam I cakap dalam video tu. Okay. Very good, Pravin. I try my best to answer this. Kejap. Apa ni? Wait ah. Huh? Oh proposal, okay. Right. I proceed. The question from Pravin ah. Huh? Anti-symmetric yang conditional. Okay, it's best to answer this question by having the actual example, right? For example, R is given as the product ordered of S, A, A, B. The condition is given as, for example, A less than B and my A, B is an element of mm, when I think a value of set F times F okay what is F is one two three Okay, I take my, my example as small as possible. Huh? What is the element of F times F? F Cartesian product F. So you have a nine order pass. That's not the point. The point right now is try to find A, B, which is A less than B. A left element, B right element. R will be the ordered pass such as A less than B. One, two, one. Three, two, three. Okay, got it. Very simple. E less than B. Left less than right. I double check. One, two, one, three, two, three. That's all. The condition. Uh, the question is R anti symmetric. Okay, listen carefully. Yeah, I try to answer this question.
Okay, the solution for this, you must know what is your R first. The elements inside R, which is this. Anti-symmetric, the best way is that you, before you write, although you will not have mark, it's better for you to, to try your best to write the definition first. To guide you. R is anti-symmetric if BA is in R for any AB which is in R only when, this is the keyword that defines, uh, that differentiate it with and uh, symmetric when A equals to B. So what it means right now so example, this is the solution or the, uh, the idea of the solution. Eh? One, two. Suppose this is BA. Is there AB? Is there AB inside? No. No AB. Okay, so uh, when you look, okay, for BA is in R. Okay, I write it back again. Eh? I take 1, 2. Suppose 1, 2 is AB. There is no 2, 1 inside this R for 1, 2. 1, 2 dalam R. Tapi 2, 1 tak ada. So, what can we say is that this conditional, we don't have this condition. If you don't have the condition, Condition, eh? Yeah. The condition is not fulfilled. You cannot say the conclusion is right. I repeat, eh? You must satisfy this condition first. If BA in R for AB in R, only when A equals to B. Right now, this condition we cannot check. Because 2, 1 is not inside R for 1, 2. Therefore, you can also check, cannot determine. Technically, you can, but yes, because this condition is nullified. The condition is not fulfilled. Cannot determine the conclusion, huh? We cannot conclude anti-symmetric or not. Okay, listen carefully. I try my best to explain using analogy. I, I close. I close down the stop sharing. Okay. Although we are not in the topic of... Nampak muka saya tak? Nampak kan? Okay. Although we are not in the topic of logic yet, let me give you an analogy. Uh, okay, contoh eh, contoh. Uh, tadi ada, uh, just now someone said about rambut panjang eh, uh, the hair is long. I don't remember the guy's name aja. Uh, siapa rambut panjang tadi? Oh, kahau ah. Okay. Suppose I have this statement. If kahau's hair is long, if kahau hair is long, then he is handsome. If kahau hair is long, then he is handsome. Right now, according to the rule of logic, I don't know whether his hair is long or not. I don't know. I don't see his hair just now. Can I conclude he is handsome or not? We cannot. The condition is not fulfilled. If I cannot see how hair is long or not, I cannot conclude that his hair... Uh, no, I cannot conclude that he is handsome or ugly. I cannot say he's ugly. Therefore, 
right now the best possible of I can is that I conclude Khan Hao is actually handsome walaupun saya tak nampak rambut dia, I cannot see his hair, the condition is not fulfilled I need to assume he is handsome okay, although he might be not, but I cannot say he's ugly tak boleh, cannot he may be handsome, so I assume he's handsome now I go back, I close the analogy I open back my screen. Okay. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh, apa, apa, thanks. Kahau, you, you thanks pasal apa? I tak kata you handsome. Huh? I assume saja you handsome. Huh? Okay, can con... The thing here is that I show cannot conclude anti-symmetric. We must have an answer, right? We cannot leave. Oh, is the question anti-symmetric or not? According to the rule of logic that you will learn later, cannot say that it is not asymmetric. Therefore, we believe, we assume, or belief, R is, ayah merah pula, R is anti-symmetric. There is the explanation. So, by the way, right now, I don't want to teach you logic yet. We wait for the video. But as now, I can say that we don't have the condition. Therefore, we assume the conclusion is true. Stop. Any other question? Next question, please. Extra 5 to 10 minutes. Next question. Kejap. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, next question. Wait, I, I read the WhatsApp. I, I, your voice is not clear. I tried my best already. Oh, ni mesti lama. Good afternoon, sir. This is blah, blah, blah. I just got her. But I'm worried about the attendance. No need to worry. Okay, next question. Saya tunggu, saya tunggu. I wait. Come on. Chapter one, okay ah. Oh, just now, prime factorization, yes, okay. Make sure you know the GCD, why is GCD, greatest common divisor, least common multiple, Chun, sir, Chun, apa Chun? Chun, eh, just salah, Chun. Next question, next, come on, come on, guys. Masa ni, uh, peluang untuk kita berinteraksi. Next, extended Euclidean selalu stuck, okay. Bagi soalan, Atikah. Saya buat soalan lain lah. Okay, next. Okay. Extended Euclidean. Okay. Tak apa, tak apa. Saya buat soalan. Saya buat soalan kecilnya. Okay. At what is extended Euclidean means? It's simply a theorem that states let GCD given by AB. AB is an integer. AB is an integer. It states that they will, they can be represented by some integer S times A plus integer T times B. Okay. I know you already read it, but I will highlight what is the common problem for the student okay example question i take a equals to a small one huh? i try as small as i can three b equals to 10 okay before we jump start to the extended euclidean you must know how to do Euclidean algorithm first. How to find the GCD? Find GCD between 3 and 10. If you fail to do GCD by using Euclidean, you fail to solve this, then don't, don't, uh, jangan harap nak solve extended. 
You must solve Euclidean first. You must know how to do it. It's very easy. You take the larger number to be the dividend equals to Q times 3 plus R. Find Q and find R. And you will know that 10 equals to 3 times 3 plus 1. Can we stop yet according to Euclidean? Cannot. Because the remainder is not zero yet. So what you will do, you bring 3 here, you bring 1 here. It will be 3 equals to Q times 1 plus R. Find 3 again, eh, sorry, find Q again, find R again. This time it states that 3 equals to uh, yep. Uh, tertutup, tertutup, terkena. Okay, uh, I I present it back. Okay, we stop here. Three Q one plus R. Find Q. It will be three times one plus zero. Now we have zero as the remainder. Your GCD is the last divisor. GCD is one. One. Next. Now I try to answer Atika's question. How to find extended Euclidean algorithm? You believe that the GCD between three and 10 can be represented as S times 3 plus T times 10. I believe there will be an integer S and also T such that it will be equivalent to 1. Uh, yeah. Okay, I believe this will be happen. Our task right now is try to find what is S and what is T. I think this will be my last example. Huh? Before I stop. Okay, we have this section here. This part. You change all the things for the left hand side first. One will be 10 minus 3 times 3. As you compare the top one and the bottom one, you know that S is 1 minus 3, 3. Therefore, S equals to 1. T equals to negative 3. First step is do the Euclidean algorithm first, then change the remainder to left hand side. Then you will get your S and you will get your T. This question is small. Eh? I will do another one. Okay. For right now, we already managed to second step. I don't think I really uh, answer Atika's question very well. I do another example. Okay. Um, find GCD. I take a bigger one. Huh? 20. Sekali. Uh, uh, elakkan prime number. 15. Okay. 15. Okay. This will be a good question. Huh? Okay. Try to do Euclidean algorithm first. 20 sama dengan... Ay, tak bagus, tak bagus. Next question, tak boleh, tak boleh, tak boleh, tak boleh. Aduh, wey. Dia tak boleh kecil sangat. It cannot be that small. Hmm. 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 
one kena fikir nilai juga ni one two four okay but I need calculator okay one two four so by you play the algorithm it will be six times Twenty plus four. Ayah dapat juga. Atika bagi soalan lah. Sorry lah. Saya tak dapat nilai yang cantik. Dia langkah dia pendek. Atika. Soalan soalan. Yang panjang sikit. Saya solution pendek je. Dua puluh kali lapan puluh empat. Berapa eh lapan puluh empat. Atika ada nilai tak? Oh besarnya. Terus kau bagi besar eh. Okay sabar. <laughs> okay Atika just give me a value here. 3, 4, 5, 4. 2, 3, 4, 7. Okay. Uh, ada calculator tak? Sekejap. Ada saya ada calculator. Okay, so those of you can try to find the Euclidean algorithm before I found it. Okay, what is the first step? You take 3, 4, 5, 4 equals to Q times 2, 3, 4, 7 plus R. Yang lupa. 3, 4, 5, 4 bagi 2, 3, 4, 7 equals to 1. What will be the remainder? plus 1107 as the remainder is not zero yet you need to do it again 2347 1107 okay find q find r oh my battery is running low wait 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 sabar battery Okay, the battery is on. On. Tolong on. Hey, on. Okay. Find Q, find R, berapa? Plus. Okay, I'm calculating it. Eh? Koran kira ke tak eh? Thing is that uh, kira tapi slow. <laughs> okay, uh, it's okay. I don't, I don't expect that you directly answer the question. I just want to know that you follow. Huh? It's good. Try. Bukannya dah lama tak belajar. Okay. Uh, my pen. Okay. Kali dapat nilai panjang terus.
ओके नेक्स्ट सेपुलो कली मुक्त Okay, tiga sama dengan tiga kali ayo. Okay, plus zero. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, ah, someone can verify to me that the GCD between these two values, apa ni? Okay, the CCD between 3, 4, 5, 4 and 2, 3, 4, 0 is 1. So the challenge right now is try to find the extended Euclidean algorithm. Okay? Atika kena clear dulu. Every one of you, not Atika only, must know how to do extended, uh, uh, you know, must know how to do Euclidean algorithm first. Okay. Proceed, huh? The first step that you need to do is change the left hand side. Okay, I believe that 1 can be represented as S times 3, 4, 5, 4 plus T, 2, 3, 7. Okay. Change the remainder to left hand side first. 1, 1, 0, 7 equals 1 times 3, 4, 5, 4 minus 1 times 2, 3, 4, 7. Change everything. This is your first step. 1, 3, 3 equals to 1 times 2, 3, 4, 7 minus 2 times 1, 1, 0, 7. 4, 3 ni. 1 kali 1, 1, 0, 7. Tolak 8 kali 1, 3, 3. 4. Okay. Sekejap, 3 sambungan 1 kali 4, 23 tolak 10 kali 4. Ni salah. Iya. Macam mana nak padam ni? Okay. This is quite a long question. Huh? So I will show you some steps. Maybe not kalau tak sempat. If I'm not finished, I can answer it later. Huh? Okay. Right now, our task, if you want to find 1 equals to S times 3, 4, 5, 4 plus 3 times 2, 3, 4, 7. The problem right now, 1 has been shown here. But the thing is that this is 4, is 3, is not 3, 4, 5, 4. Not 3, 4, 5, 4. And also 2, 3, 4, 7. So we will call the method of forward method. We try to make sure every line here to consist of 3, 4, 5, 4 and 2, 3, 4, 7. Okay. We start with the first one. 1, 1, 0, 7. This one, the first one, has already been in 3, 4, 5, 4 and 2, 3, 4, 7. So no need to change that, right? It's already been in the form of 3, 4, 5, 4 and 2, 3, 4, 7. We digest the second one. The second one, 1, 3, 3 equals to 1 times 2, 3, 4, 7 minus 2, 1, 1, 0, 7. The problem with this is that this one is 2, 3, 4, 7, this one not. So you need to change it. 1 times 2, 3, 4, 7 minus 2. 
Okey, sini. 1107, you take the value which has from here. This one. You take from that one because it has been changed to 1107. So 2 minus 1. Ada 15 minit lagi. Okay, I try my best lah. Atika, kalau tak lepas ni saya, kalau tak sempat saya uh, jawab nanti ni. Okay, 1. 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. Tolak 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Okay, close. Okay, uh, semua, okay. Everyone pay attention lah. The thing, the common mistake here is that the student do algebraic mistake. They they don't carefully try to... Ayah, kacau. Um, sekejap. Okay. I carry on, huh? Make sure you open the bracket carefully. 2 times 1. 2. 3, 4, 5, 4. Plus 2. 2 kali 1. Negative 2 times negative 1. That is the common mistake. Close down the bracket. Add up the same. Tidak. Tersalah tulis. Okay. 1 dengan 2, 3, 4, 7. You tambah, you add up the coefficient. 1 plus 2, 3 times 2, 3, 4, 7. Minus 2 times 3, 4, 5, 4. Then you get 1, 3, 3 equals to two, 3 times 2, 3, 4, 7 plus 2 times, minus 2 times 3, 4, 5, 4. Double check. Always double check. Okay. How to check? Just multiply it back. It should get 133. Three. I write it back again. 133 three has been represented as 3 times 2, 3, 4, 7 minus 2 times 3, 4, 5, 4. But 133 three is not the GCD, the GCD is 1. So what you should do, you need to process this one back. 43. 1, 1, 1, 0, 7, minus 8, 1, 3, 3. Okay, 1, 1, 0, 7, where do you take it? You take from the blue circle 1. Which has been transferred into 3454 and 2347. You take 1 times everything 1107, 1 times 3454 minus 1, 2347. Tutup minus 8. 133, three, you ambil mana? What, where do you take 133? Three? Is that you take from the the previous one here okay you take that from there Minus 2 times 3, 4, 5, 4. Close to top. Okay. Again. 
multiply the coefficient first. 1 times 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 4, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, minus, okay, again, be careful with the multiplication, negative 8 times 3, tolak, uh, negative 24. Okay, double check. Negative 8 times negative 2 plus 16, 3, 4, 5, 4. Okay, add up the coefficient then. 1 plus 16, 17, 3, 4, 5, 4, minus 25. Again, double check. Yeah, correct. 43 is indeed this one. You proceed again. It's not finished. You need to do this three more times. Huh? Four, tukar. Three, tukar. Until you get one. Okay. I hate to break it to you, but I need to stop this lecture right now. Okay. I want you guys to finish the calculation. To those of you who finish it, post it in the WhatsApp group because I need to go now. My meeting is at 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Habiskan lah, Atika. Try to finish this. Susah pun cuba. Saya bagi tahu cara. And I will uh, stop this lecture. Uh, and I will give the recording later. Okay, see you guys. See you this Saturday. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. -bye.